Okay, folks, Pepper Boy back at you. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, first off, I want to uh, say thank you to uh, one of my sons, Jace, who's been, if you watched the last couple of videos, you'll notice I had some pretty cool uh, new intro music and graphics. That's, uh, that's all his doing. He helps me with the video preparation and editing and all, so uh, he did a great job, I think, with adding some music and cool graphics. So, there you go. Uh, if that was left up to me, we'd have some terrible videos, I promise you. Anyway, let's see. I want to give you a quick update here. I hope the road noise is not too bad. Uh, it's Tuesday morning. Where I left things, I, I think I was, uh, you know, I picked up a load Friday in Fort Smith that I delivered Monday in Carroll Stream, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. I left out, you know, around 8, 8.30 a.m. Uh, from the North Little Rock Yard. Got my truck washed before I hit the road. And drove. Uh, I, I drove about eight hours Sunday, and that left me, uh, I think, about three and a half hours to go on Monday morning. Got up there, made the delivery. You know, I was really worried about the roads because they had a lot of snow up there, but surprisingly, you know, the roads are really not an issue. Uh, they do a much better job up there with the roads than they do down south. Anyway, no, no real trouble there. Uh, and after that delivery, they dispatched me about, I don't know, about a 45 minute drive into the heart of Chicago to a uh, Atlas Tubi place where I picked up the load I have now. And it delivers in Longview, Texas, 1 p.m. on Wednesday. So, luckily, this load is going to take me right through North Little Rock. So, uh, I should be able to get there, you know, mid-afternoon today, you know, around 2.30, something like that. And uh, I'm going to run home for the evening. And since I don't have to deliver it early tomorrow, I won't have to leave until, you know, I'm thinking 8 a.m., so, you know, it's a nice little bonus to get to stop off at the house in the middle of the week. So that's cool. All right. Anyway, I wanted to address a couple of things. Uh, on the last, one of the last two videos, I mentioned uh, somebody had asked me about, you know, what do you do with your truck while you're home for the weekend or anytime you're off? And the answer is, you know, you... Uh, it, it's your truck, you know, it's assigned to you, so uh, you, you take it home. You know, hopefully, you know, if you live somewhere where you have space and an uh, adequate place to park it, you know, that works out great. You can just drive it home and it's there. It's, you know, it, you can clean it out, you can move your stuff in and out. You know, that's perfect. Uh, but some people don't have a place to park a truck uh, and with a trailer, especially a loaded trailer sometimes. So uh, what I've seen, like my trainer, for example, he, uh, you know, he lived in a small town and he had worked out a deal with a little convenience store about five miles from his house that it wasn't a truck stop. But they had about, they had room in the back where, you know, maybe five or six trucks, trailers uh, could park. So he got permission from them where, you know, when he was going home, he would just park, unhook his trailer there, put on a, a kingpin lock so nobody could just hook up to the trailer and take it. Uh, and then he would bobtail home in the truck. So, you know, he, he could park his truck there at his house. I mean, he, he probably could have parked his trailer there too, but 
it had been kind of tough. I've been to his house and not a not a great setting to try to take the trailer, you know, get in and out of his property. He, you know, if you built a circular driveway kind of a thing, it might have worked. But uh, anyway, that's what he did. And I know other people, I kind of had a friend and uh, went through training with me that lived in a bigger city, couldn't take his truck and trailer home. So uh, for a while, he got permission from a casino that was about 10 miles from his house. And they allowed trucks to park there. You know, they had a huge lot and plenty of parking. And he parked there. Uh, and then his, I think his wife would come and pick him up whenever he needed a ride. Uh, but once the COVID hysteria hit back in early uh, 2020, the casino kind of changed their policies. It had been shut down, I guess, for a while. And they, would, they quit letting people park there. So he ended up parking uh, at like an abandoned uh, way station nearby and they did that for a while so you know you just got to find something you know in most cases you know there'll be some somebody there either a business you can talk to or a truck stop nearby or uh, relatives anybody anybody you, you know you might could get permission from to park at least your trailer uh, leave your trailer so that you can bobtail home. So, you know, whatever works, you just have to work something out. Luckily for me, you know, I live about 10 miles from the North Little Rock Maverick Yard and it's super convenient. You know, I just pull into a spot, park. If I need supplies, I can deal with that. Truck wash, if I need anything done to the trailer or truck, I can turn it in. So that's perfect. And I would suggest that, you know, if, if you live near a Maverick yard, you know, like anywhere near uh, the Fort Smith, Arkansas area, you could do the same at that yard. Although they're not equipped with a mechanics shop there. They do have crews there, you know, third party vendors that take care of trailer maintenance and tire issues and stuff like that. Um, but that's super convenient you know, if you live anywhere in the Fort Smith area. Also, the Madison, Illinois, which is basically East St. Louis, anywhere in that area. Uh, same situation, except that place does have a mechanical shop. Uh, Portage, Indiana, which is right outside of Chicago, you know, same deal. Uh, we also have a facility in Burke Burnett, Texas, which is right next to uh, Wichita Falls. It's primarily a glass facility, you know, for our glass haulers. But I have stopped there two or three times and parked for the night, got a shower, you know. I mean, it is a place where you can stop and park, although they service flat, or uh, the glass divisions as far as the shop work and all that. Um, let's see, I know there's a, and of course, Central Arkansas, you know, where the main Maverick Yard is. If you live anywhere in Central Arkansas, ideal. There's a, there's a, another spot or two that I've never been to, like, I think somewhere over in East Tennessee we have a spot, a facility. Um, I really don't know much about them. I probably see it listed on the website, but I don't, I don't know anything about it. Anyway, that's the deal with the uh, what you have to do with the trade. All right, um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, remember, you know, you guys uh, had several emails lately. Thank you very much. Uh, but if you plan on using me for a referral. Uh, I greatly appreciate that for one thing, but please, uh, if you can, email me before you do that and um, so I can get some information from you. And uh, Or if you don't use me, use 
you know, use somebody. If you know any other Maverick drivers, you know, use somebody. Uh, but anyway, I'm headed towards North Little Rock. Still got about six hours to go. Uh, more later. <laughs>